Yay, we have made it to unit two in module two. Adaptations in the wide world of frogs lesson one. Why? We will investigate these questions to build expertise about frogs. Let's read our why questions aloud together. So go back and think about the last unit. What was your why question? And why did you choose this one? You can tell an adult that's with you or you can um, uh, even say to a stuffed animal if you're listening to this at home. Our guiding questions. What do experts do? How do I build on expertise on a topic? And how do frogs survive? So go ahead and discuss with an adult at home about what each of these means. Working to contribute to a better world. Habit of character. I apply my learning to help our school, the community, and the environment. What does it look like? Creating posters, signs, or videos for the school and community. Making presentations. Organizing an event to help the school, community, or the environment. And what does it sound like? Did you know? Your final performance task. Okay, so you will generate your own writing to include in a freaky frog book to engage and educate students in grades two to three. Your book will contain Porcoy narrative written in unit one, informational writing from unit two, three paragraph informational writing from unit three, a freaky frog trading card from unit three for readers to play game with. Based on the prompt, what will be included in our book? Right, a poor koi narrative, an informational write it, writing, and a three paragraph informational writing, and a freaky frog trading card. What will we do to create those things? Right, 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 right. And it says, I can't wait to read your book. It's going to be freaky. All right, so we're going to review your Freaky Frog Notebook, and you can find this in your workbook on pages 60 to 71. Now remember, keep in mind, every day you are not going to submit this. You are going to continue working on this, and then at the end you will either take a picture and submit it in Seesaw, or if you are working in Seesaw, save it as a draft. We are not submitting this daily. So go ahead and look through the pages 60 to 71 in your white and purple workbook. What is the first page used for? Yeah, it's a table of contents. It tells us where to find everything. All right, so what did you notice? You can tell an adult, a pet, or even a stuffed animal what you noticed. You will use these in your unit and the next to record your research about frogs so you can write information pieces about why do polywogs wiggle. Remember in unit one, we created our own story, a narrative. Now we're going to write informational. Our learning target, I can use text features to find information about tadpoles efficiently in everything you need to know about frogs and other slippery creatures. That book is the book we spent a lot of time downloading and putting into books. And if you miss that in class, we also, um, sent the link to your parents on Class Dojo. If you still need help getting that book into books, you need to see Mrs. Schindler or Mrs. Jeffrey during office hours. I can find the gist of an excerpt in everything you need to know about frogs and other slippery creatures. So get curious. Take a few minutes and look through your copy of everything you know to need to know about frogs and slippery creatures. And here it is, the, t the cover. Okay, and where are some of these frogs from? Let's put it on the map. So when we were looking at it, we saw that a lot of the frogs oops, were found in some of the rainforest, maybe in South America or Central America. We also quickly read that they're by rivers and lakes because they need to stay wet. Some frogs live in trees. So our unit one was more about narrative texts. And they're about real or imagined, exper imagined experiences. Are poor koi tales real or imagined stories? Right, they're imagined. Informational texts are about real information. How is the narrative literature we read and wrote similar to this book we are looking at? 
How are they different? So remember that book about Rana and how the frogs became colorful? Yeah, so that was a made up story. So the book we're reading today, Everything You Need About Frogs, that is a real story, informational text. So informational texts inform or teach a reader about a topic, often have text features that the author uses to help the reader understand and find information in the text. Based on research the author does before writing and list sources to find in research, focused on the same topic throughout the piece, clearly presented and easy to understand, have illustrations that support the text, introduce the topic with the focus statement, develop the topic and with evidence such as facts and details and end with a concluding statement or section. Group related information together to explain the main idea. Informational texts often have text features that the author uses to help the reader understand and find information in the text. Table of contents helps the reader identify key topics in the book in the order they are presented. Glossary is a mini dictionary. Index, an alphabetical list of important information with a text with page numbers. Headings, photographs, captions, words in bold or italic. So everything you need to know about frogs or other slippery creatures, you're going to go ahead and you're going to look at these pages. And we're going to talk about what we noticed. So on pages 20 to 21, we noticed this is different about our story about Rana because this is actual information. These are facts telling us about frogs. Whereas our story we read about Rana was all about a made up version of why frogs are colorful, right? On pages two to three, we see a table of contents. In narrative stories, there is not a table of contents. And a table of contents tells us where we can quickly go to find information. So if I wanted to know about colors and markings, I could go to page 16. If I wanted to know about the top 10 deadliest, I would go to page 38. On pages 78 and 79, we see the glossary and the index. Remember, the glossary is kind of like a mini dictionary. So those words in bold that we see, we don't know what they mean. We can go to the glossary and find out the definition. So if I did not know the definition of gills, I would come over here and look and find their organs used to breathe underwater. Now, if I wanted to find out about where I could find tadpoles, I would think, well, tadpoles, it starts with T. If I look at the T, I don't see anything that says tadpoles. So then I would think about a related word. And a related word to tadpoles would be frog because tadpoles come from frogs. So I'm going to come over to F for frogs. And here's the main topic, frog. And now I'm going to come down here and see if they see anything about tadpoles. And all of a sudden I do. And now I can go to page 7, 14 to 15. 21 or 33 and find out more information about tadpoles. Why? We will investigate the real reason behind why do pollywogs wig wiggle. In Mrs. Jeffrey's class, in our narrative, we said that pollywogs wiggle because they like to swim and win swimming races. But is that the real reason? Of course not. So we need to go back and, and think about what's the real reason and we're going to research that in this unit. Finding information about polywogs. Where could we look to find information about tadpoles and polywogs in our everything book? Right, we could look at the table of contents or we can look at the index. What text feature could help us find that information? Well, maybe bold words, photographs, pictures, right? Any of those could help us. Where will we find this information? Right, we said table of contents, um, we could find it in the index, and we can find it on those pages. So go ahead and take a minute and see if you can find a page in your book. All right, so close readers, we've gone over this slide a lot, so if you want to read it again, you can press pause, but I'm going to move on. All right, so on 73 and 74 in your Freaky Frog book, your research book. We went ahead and did some of these together. So 
You're going to read six and seven in that book we downloaded to books, the frog book, the everything you need to know about frogs. And you're going to read that blue side. It says beginning at amphibians are animals and ending at breathe through the lungs. And you're going to say, what is the gist of that? In class, we said they're, the gist is it's all about the characteristics of amphibians. And an un, uh, unfamiliar vocabulary word we said in class was amphibian. And then we looked it up and we decided in our own words, there are animals that live in water and land. Now on six and seven, you're going to start reading at how many? And it's just a little small section. And the gist is all about the species of amphibians. And we said an unknown word was species. And we looked it up on our dictionary.com app and we decided to say in our own words, it's a group with something in common. Now you're going to finish the page at 73 and 74 on your own. And when you're done, you will upload it to Seesaw. Okay, so that's what we did. Here's six and seven. If you don't have your book uploaded that you can read and go back and fill in um, pages 73 and 74. It's right here included. So you can just press pause if you need to while you're working in your workbook. All right, so now you're going to go to page 61. And that's also a part of your Freaky Frog Research Notebook. And so how do you frogs survive? So you're going to keep that in your mind as you're filling this out, okay? So think about what you already know about how frogs survive. And we already kind of read that they need to keep their skin wet so they can breathe. But what other things do you know about how frogs survive? And you can press pause while you're doing that. And then when you're done, think about what do you want to know? And then you're going to remember, save this as a draft. Do not press submit, because we're going to keep going back to this book. Once you're done, you can press play again. And now our learning targets are, I can use text features to find information about tadpoles efficiently and everything you need to know about frogs and other slippery creatures. I can find the gist of an excerpt in the everything you need to know about frogs and other slippery creatures. 